Hey guys, this is ProBaller14 here, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, modify settings on your board uh, for the ETEC 3 LT. Um, first of all, to get into programming mode, you're going to need to hold your trigger down and press the power button. So you'll have flashing, um, flashing lights. Next, you see your red light. That's your first mode. But before we do that, I want to show you how to change uh, settings. The E space is for 10 digits. So if you want to do like rate of fire 12.5, you'd have one setting in the 10. And then the G is for the uh, single digits. So for 12.5, you'd have two settings in the G. And then the O is for um, the uh, point uh, decimal digits. And if you want to do 12.5, it'd be uh, five in the O. So it's kind of, it takes a little while to understand it, but uh, I'll go through it here. The first mode um, is red, which is firing mode. Now, uh, pull the trigger once. You'll see how many uh, clicks or whatever you're in uh, firing mode. You saw it flash twice in the G, which means it's in firing mode 2, which is semi-uncapped. It goes semi-capped, semi-uncapped, and then ramping. So to modify it, let's say I want to put it on ramping, hold the trigger until it goes into the E spot. Okay? Now, because ramping is the third setting, I don't need anything in the E, so I'm going to press the power button. Now, because it's the third, and this G is a single digit, I'm going to press it three times. One, two, three. And then I'm going to hit the power button. And then there's no point digits. I'm going to hit the uh, power button again. It's going to... Flashing red means there's something wrong with it, which means my parameters are probably too high. So I'm going to hold it. No tens. One, two, three. There you go. Okay, flashing green says it saved it. Now let's see what we're in. Three. We're in ramping. Okay. Now to go down to a different mode, hit the power button. Green is match rate of fire with BBSS, which is brake beam center system on. Now, say I want it uh, 12.5. I'm going to hold the trigger. It goes E. Oh, now it's just saying what it is. Okay, I'm going to hold the trigger until it goes to E. Now because there is a tens digit for 12, I'm going to hit it once, I go down, so now I have 10. If I want to do 12.5, 2, now I'm at 12. Now I need to do 5 of these, 2, 3, 4, 5. The power button says it's saved, um, so let's find out what we're at. Whoops, 1, whatever. If you don't change anything, to go flashing red, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 12.5. The power button again. We have blue. That's max rate of fire with the eyes off. So let's see what we're at now. Two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we're at 12.5. Let's say I want to go to 15. Hold it till it's in the E. Uh, one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Fifteen point four is the maximum this gun will shoot. See it saved. Now let's say if I want, if I excel, if I don't know the max. Uh, rate of fire this gun can go and I put it in too high. Let's see what will happen. So let's put it in there. And let's say I want to do 22 balls per second. One, two, one, two. It's going to go flashing red because the parameters are too high and I'll keep it back where it was. Five. One, two, three, four. 15.4. Okay. Next is white and that is the ramp kicking rate. Okay. So that's the uh, amount of pulls per second you're going to need before it starts ramping. So let's see what we're at. 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so 5.4. Minimum is 5 balls per second, so I'm going to do that. So there's no tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I don't want any zero or points. I'm just going to hit through. Ah, uh, there's one. Okay, 5.1. There's that. Darker, the dark red is the ramp reset time time it takes for the uh, ramping to reset in between trigger pulls. So I'm at 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's about where I want it, so I'm not going to leave that alone. Uh, purple is dwell. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 milliseconds um, of dwell. Uh, that's about where you want it to be. Let me keep that. That was factory, by the way. Um, let's see here. This is light blue. So, um, that's going to be debounce. 
so that's just to make sure your trigger is not bouncing and putting extra poles. Two, three, four. Hit that three. So that's good. Hit the trigger uh, power button again, and you're at yellow. Uh, ball detection time. That's the time it takes for the eyes to detect the ball in the breach. Two, three, four, five, five milliseconds. So I'm gonna leave that alone. And then we're back to red where we started. Now um, to save uh, to save all your settings, just hold the power button, and it goes into your normal uh, normal boot sequence. We'll turn the gun off. And I'm gonna show you this paper I made. I'm gonna come around here so you guys can see it because I doubt you guys probably saw it. But here it is. E is for the tenth digit. So if I want to do 12.5 on fire mode, be 1. Then I go down to the G, be 2. Then I go to the O, and it'd be 5. So you guys can see, E is for 10s, G is for 1s, O is for decimals. And there's just your, so I remember what's going on on the sequence down there. This will also be in the description, so, uh, yeah. So it's a fairly simple um, board once you figure it out. Here's one more time. Uh, Protoballer14, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.